Hi, hello and welcome back again to our YouTube channel Excel Bus Software Testing where you will learn in easy simple way. So our today's topic is Trace Driven Development TDD. What are the benefits and what are the challenges? So let's see in this video. What is Test Driven Development? Test Driven Development is a software development methodology where tests are written before the actual code is developed. The basic idea behind TDD is to write a failing test case, then the write just enough code to make the test pass. Once the test passes, the developer can then refactor the code to improve its design and repeat the process by adding more tests. The advantage of TDD is that it can help to catch bugs more earlier in the development cycles and improve the overall quality of the code and makes the code easier to maintain and refactor. TDD test cycle TDD cycle consists of three phases, red, green and refactor. In the red phase, you write a failing test case that defines the behavior you want to implement. In the green phase, you write the code to pass the test case. In refactor phase, you improve the code without changing its behavior. This cycle is repeated continuously throughout the development process. Red phase The red phase is first phase of TDD cycle. In this phase, you write a failing test case that defines the behavior you want to implement. This test case should use the assertions to check the expected behavior. The goal of this phase to define the requirements for the code will you will write in the next phase. Green phase the green phase is second phase of TDD cycle. In this phase, you write the code that passes the test case you define in the red phase. The code should be simple and focus on passing the test case. You can refactor the code later on to improve the quality. Refactor phase The refactor phase is the third phase of TDD cycle. In this phase, you improve the code without changing its behavior. This can include improving the code's quality, readability, and maintainability. You should use best practices for code quality and ensure that the code still passes the test case. Can we use TDD in test automation? Yes, stress-driven development can be applied to test automation as well. In fact, TDD is a common practice in test automation as it helps to ensure that the automated test covers all the necessary scenarios and the functions as intended. In test automation, the process is similar to traditional TDD, but instead of writing code, the focus is on writing automated tests. The cycle typically involves the, these steps. Writing failing test. Write an automated test that describes the desired behavior of the system or application. Write the code to make test pass. Write the minimum amount of code requires to make the test pass. Refactor the test. Once the test passes, refactor the test code to improve its design and remove the duplication and unnecessary complexities. Write more tests. Write the additional test to cover all the possible scenarios and edge cases. Repeat the process. Continue writing failing test, writing code to make the test pass and, ref and refactoring the test code until all the requirements are met and all the test passes. By using TDD in test automation, teams can ensure that the automated test provides a complete coverage and meet the requirements, which can lead to improve the test quality and reduce the maintenance effect. Benefits of TDD in test automation Test automation is an important part of TDD. By automating the testing process, you can increase efficiency and productivity, reduce the cost and time to market, and improve the code quality and maintainability. Automated tests can be run quickly and easily, allowing you to catch the bugs and errors early in the development process. There are many tools and frameworks available for TDD. Testing frameworks, assertion libraries, and mocking libraries can all help you to make TDD process more efficient and effective. Some popular tools and frameworks include JUnit, NUnit, PHPUnit, Mockito, etc. While TDD has several benefits, it has some challenges as well. Like learning curve, TDD can be challenging approach to adopt, especially for developers who are used to writing code first and then testing it. It can take some time 
and effort to learn the TDD process and become comfortable with the writing test before writing code. Overhead. Writing test before writing code can add some overhead to the development process. Developers must take time to write the test, which can increase the time it takes to deliver the working software. Maintenance. Writing tests that are tightly coupled to the code and then test can make them difficult to maintain. Changes to the code may require changes to the test and if the tests are poorly designed then the maintenance effort can become significant. Misinterpretation If the requirements are not well defined or they are poorly understood, the test may not be accurately reflect the desired behavior of the code. This can lead to waste of efforts and incorrect assumptions about the code's functionality. False sense of security TDD can help to catch some bugs and improve the quality of the code. But still, developers must perform through testing and code review to ensure that the code is working in as intended. There are many successful case studies of TDD implementation in software development projects. Companies and teams have achieved significant improvement in code quality, development times, customer satisfaction, and cost savings by using TDD. By following the best practices and using the right tools and frameworks, you can achieve the similar results in your own project. So this is it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We post videos on every Tuesday and Friday. If you have any queries, please comment down us. So until our next video, happy testing. Bye bye.